Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be testing out the Chucky collection from Glam Light. This is their Hall not their Halloween, <laughs> I wanted to say Halloween. This is their horror related Valentine's Day release and it's Chucky and Tiffany themed. So you know your girl was already going to be obsessed with it. I did an unboxing of this already on my TikTok and I also posted it to Instagram reels. So if you saw that, you know what this collection is all about. It's all about the grungy, beautiful, dark, lovey, Valloween, perhaps, theming of the Chucky theme. And I'm like, I, mm, mm, I love Chucky movies, Child's Play, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Cult of Chucky, all that good stuff. Huge fan. Series is okay. Jennifer Tilly's in it, so I'll watch the series, but you know, the movies are where it's at for me. Um, and I'm obsessed with Tiffany. So today we're gonna be trying out this collection for the first time and give you my first thoughts on it. I will be doing other looks with this, obviously, because like I'm in love with the theme and the color scheme, so you'll see me in other looks. But I do want to do like a first impressions today and talk about the products. Also, if you guys do like the Chucky horror but kind of cutesy theme, you might like my small business, theopencrypt.com. I have a bunch of cute and spooky themed things up there, things up there, so this really matches. It is where my anatomical heart earrings are for today. And yeah, if you want to check it out, appreciate the hell out of it. Okay, let's get started talking about the Glam Light products now. So the first thing is the Crazy in Love palettes, which is kind of the star of the collection of the palettes, always the star. So here is it up close. So pretty. You know what I like is the fact that it has like a little bit of color, like you have some red, you have a little bit of purple, um, and a little bit of like a taupe. But it's not like bold and crazy colors. I like that it's dark grungy in your face because it's just so dark and grungy and I'm, I'm here for every second of that right now. So this is the palette. It's so pretty. I did get a comment on my TikTok when I posted an unboxing that people said that this palette looks different on everyone who wears it. So that's interesting to note. Not sure if that's true for me. It looks very dark and grungy, but you do see a little bit of that pop of color. And then next up we have the Chucky Blush Duo. So cute and it has two good guy imprint pans, which is so pretty and two shades, very similar colors in here. It's not like they're like drastically different. One's more rosy, one's more pinky pinky, but a cute little blush duo nonetheless. We also have an eyeliner duo with a pencil eyeliner as well as a felt tip eyeliner in here, both in the black shade because that's a staple color and Tiffany wears black eyeliner as well. And then we have two lip kits, a Tiffany and a Chucky one. Chucky is more of a nude coloring on his lipstick kit and then Tiffany is more of a red. We'll try this on together today. So we're going to do an eye look using the eyeshadow palette. We're also going to try out the Tiffany lip kit together and yeah, I'll give you my first thoughts on that. So without any further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of the Drawer Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base and Fair. I'm going to blend it all over my eyes. This is my eyelid primer today to give us a good sticky base, giving these eyeshadows the best chance of performing well. So while I let this get kind of sticky and settle for a second, I want to talk about the brushes that I'm using. So for packing, I'm going to use the E27 kind of flat brush from Sigma. For regular blending, I'm going to use the tapered blending E35, which is just like this one. It has like a bigger top to it. And then for my under eye shader, I'm going to use this little Hip Dot MCR brush. I don't recommend hip, uh, hip Dot, but it's just like nice, fat little shaders. So that's what we're going to do. I think I want to do a halo eye, like dark and then like a highlight in the center. So let's get into it. I'm so excited to try it. Like this is so pretty. Like it's so pretty. Okay. So I thought about the purples, right? Because there's very like purple, berry-ish tones in here, purple. I thought that'd be really cute, but the grays are like gonna be the harder ones that are formulated, you know? So I don't know if that's a better tell. Not sure, but why don't we just go ahead and put I Like To Be Hugged, which is this dark purple mat right here. It looks black on camera right now. Maybe in editing it won't, but this looks like a really dark plum. We're gonna put it on, we're gonna just gonna pack it on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. So I picked it up on the brush. Some kickback did came up in the pan, but that's okay and i'm gonna pack it on the outer and inner portion of my eye i'm not gonna take it super high up because i don't want this to be like overwhelming i don't want it to get too close to my eyebrow <laughs> okay so i have this going on in my eyes can we tell it's like a plum eggplanty purple i don't know 
I don't know what else to do next. Like I'm gonna take the blending brush and like obviously make it kind of a circumference around my eye with the halo. But like there's not another purple shade. Like they have kind of a berry tones, berry tones, kind of pinky reds. And I think that's what we're gonna have to go for. Oh, I guess I could use this lighter purple. Let's do this. Let's do Let's Be Friends, which is a lavender kind of color. Pick up my blending brush. And I'm just gonna go over top. And in the crease so i'm gonna take it and make myself a little halo circle situation so far i really like this other purple shade like obviously some blending on top of the darker one the darker one's not gonna stay that dark but like i like this second purple shade i i tend to avoid purple eyeshadow because they're harder to blend and i usually have had purple hair a lot of my adult life so I always avoided purple, but now I'm like trying to get into it. And I think this one's really pretty. That looks nice. This eye clearly blended better than this one, but you know, after the shimmers all smooshed together, it's going to be fine. <laughs> so again, I really like that purple. I think it's nice. And it's not like purple on your face. It's like kind of dusty. And I kind of like that because it makes it a little more grungy. So I'm going to take a flat brush now. This is the E58 cream color brush from Sigma. And since we're going to do like a highlight in the center point, which is going to be want to play, because it's silver, I'm going to do darker on the outer and inner portion. So I think I want to go into, ooh, see, I really like this gray and I like that berry tone, but this one seems more appropriate. Okay, let's go into issue 666, which is this like purple plum shimmer. I'm going to put it right on top of that darker shade we did. And with a, with a flat brush, we'll have to see how it picks up. Honestly, shimmers, like glam light shimmers especially, are best applied with your finger. There's something about the finger that is like the perfect applicator. But I do want to try it on the brush too. We'll do the center highlight on my finger. That sounds pretty good. But it is applying really nicely over top. But with Glam Light Shadows, sometimes when you do too much or you like put a damp brush into the pan, it can get kind of hard pan on top, sticky pan on top, smooshy pan on top, whatever you want to call it. Okay, going into Want to Play now, silver shimmery shade. I'll kind of tell my pinky. I'm missing a nail on my pinky. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put this right in the center over top. Oh, it's really sparkly. Well, it's really metallic. You know I love a, metab a metallic silver. And now I'm just going to take the flat brush again and kind of blend. So there's no harsh line of where one stops and one starts. Okay, so I was hoping for a gray matte. Obviously, we have this kind of green gray. And this one's kind of a blue gray. But there's no, like, perfect steel gray in here, which I think is okay, considering we do have a black and a silver and then, like, this black with sparkles in it. But I was kind of hoping for like a regular steel gray, but that's okay. So for the lower lash line now, this is going to look a lot better with, <laughs> with lashes on. For the lower eyeshadow, I think I'm going to just do, let's do good guys. Let's see how this gray green shade looks under the lower lash line with a, kind of a smudgy brush. Just kind of a green gray. Is it going to match perfectly? No, but I don't care. I think it's going to look fine. I don't need to like heavy up my under eyeshadow too since the top is kind of heavy. All right, so this is the eyeshadow. I think it's going to look really cool. I do like that bottom shade under here just to give it like a little bit of dimension. It doesn't pull that green like it is greenish for a gray. But honestly, I think it's going to be more subtle than like dark all under my eyes too. So I'm going to pop on some mascara lashes. I'll be right back and we'll try the Tiffany lip kit. I don't know if it's going to look good with this look. We're going to see how it performs. Okay, time for the Tiffany lip kit now. Because Tiffany, basically. So the Tiffany lip kit comes with a lipstick, which is of red color and a dark pencil uh, lip liner. I'm not the biggest lip liner person because I'm a liquid lipstick lover, okay? So typically wearing stick lipsticks like this isn't my thing. But because it's for the review and because it's Tiffany, we're going to put them on anyways. Once I can get this unstuck. Okay, so here are the colors up close. Dark red liner and a dark red lipstick. But I think the lip liner is a little bit darker, which makes sense. Now, typically, I'm not the biggest fan of pencil things. I can't put pencils like this in my waterline because my eyes are very sensitive. 
but for a lip liner i think it's gonna be okay so let's give it a shot Ooh, yeah it's a really pretty dark color lip liner is on now it actually was very smooth easy to apply i i'm always sensitive about pencil pencils but on my lips it actually worked out just fine so there's the lip liner color and let's do the tiffany lipstick now Mm. <laughs> all right guys so this is the tiffany lip kit it's really pretty it's really comfortable and smooth good pigmentation on the lipstick itself really a big fan of the darker lip liner i always feel like when there's a lip kit and it's like the exact same color as the lipstick in the kit it doesn't really make much sense you want a little bit of a darker color to kind of outline your lips and give your lips like a good perimeter so yeah it's very comfortable super pigmented looks very nice so yeah I don't know what to say now other than the fact that like I really enjoyed what I used today. The eyeshadow came out really pretty. Like I love the halo effect with this. I do want to try the felt tip liquid eyeliner for another look. Obviously I want to use the blush for like a really blushy pink look. I think that'd be fun. And well maybe like pink on the cheeks like a lot of flush on the cheeks and then like a really cool toned eye with the palette. I feel like that'd be a good combo. So look forward to seeing me in this palette all the time because I think it's really cute. Um, it's a good combo. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think down below. The only thing that would like put this collection over the top for me would be a pair of Tiffany lashes because she's the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Maybe a temporary Chucky uh, chest tattoo and a Glenda shade or something Glenda related. You know, even if it's just like a little tiny little Glenda in the background somewhere, that would make it like over the top for me. But this is all about tiffany and chucky so i know why they're not there but anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one let me know your thoughts down below and uh yeah have a good valentine's day well i guess after you're seeing this after valentine's day have a good day regardless